Hi friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to study AC Harmonic Analysis. To understand this topic, we will take an example of device whose output is AC. Let's take an example of inverter. Input of inverter is DC while output is AC. So, desirable output of inverter is fundamental component of sine wave. While DC component and high order harmonics are non-desirable component. So this is output waveform of a rect inverter circuit. And this is clearly non-sinusoidal as it is a rectangular waveform. This rectangular waveform can be represented as per Fourier series. So this rectangular waveform is sum of this DC component this fundamental component, the second harmonic component, third harmonic component and so on. The only desirable component in this case is this fundamental component and remaining components like DC component, second harmonic component, third harmonic component and so on. These all are undesirable components. Now we will write the Fourier series representation of this output voltage of inverter. So V naught T that is output voltage of inverter is equals to V naught plus Vm1 sin omega T plus Vm2 sin 2 omega T plus Vm3 sin 3 omega T plus so on. This V naught is DC component. This Vm1 sin omega T is fundamental component. This Vm2 sin 2 omega T is second harmonic component. This is third harmonic component. Here only this Vm1 sin omega t that is fundamental component is desirable. We can calculate the RMS value of output voltage by square and adding individual RMS value of each of these components. Then take the square root of whole we get the RMS value of inverter output voltage. So RMS value of inverter output voltage is V0 RMS. That is equals to under root of V0 square plus V01 square plus V02 square plus V03 square and so on. Now square both sides and take this V0 on LHS. We get V0 RMS square minus V01 square is equals to V0 square plus V02 square plus V03 square and so on. Now all these component that is this DC component, this second harmonic, this third harmonic, all these components are undesirable. Only this V01 square is desirable. That's why we can write this whole expression as V0 RMS square minus V01 square is equals to VOH. This VOH is harmonic voltage. Now divide both sides by V01 we get VOH that is harmonic voltage by V01 that is RMS value of fundamental component is equals to under root of V0 RMS square by V01 square minus 1 where V0 RMS is the RMS value of output voltage of inverter. So these two expressions are very important. On the basis of these two expressions we will derive some other important expressions. Now these two expressions were derived in previous slide. Now we will see some other important expressions. First is total harmonic distortion THD that is equals to VOH by V01. VOH is the harmonic voltage and V01 is the RMS value of fundamental component. Distortion factor DF or we can say that G is equals to V01 by V0 RMS. V01 is the RMS value of fundamental component. V0 RMS is the RMS value of output voltage. Here THD can be written as root 1 by G square minus 1. We get this expression by putting V01 by V0 RMS is equals to G in this equation. So finally putting this G 
in this equation we get THT is equals to root 1 by G square minus 1. Now let's take a case. If my output voltage is pure sine wave, pure sine wave means there is no distortion in output voltage. This is only possible if this harmonic voltage VOH is equal to zero. So in case of pure sine wave or distortion free output voltage, this harmonic voltage is equal to zero. If this harmonic voltage is equal to zero, then we get V0 RMS is equal to V01. It means the RMS value of fundamental component is equal to the RMS value of output voltage. Now total harmonic distortion. Total harmonic distortion is equal to VOH by V01. We know that for pure sine wave this VOH is equal to zero. That's why we get total harmonic distortion is equal to zero. Now distortion factor G. We know that G is equal to V01 by V0 RMS and for pure sine wave this V01 is equal to V0 RMS. Putting this we get G is equal to 1. Now let's take another case. If harmonics are present in the sine wave, if harmonics are present then we get distorted output. We get distorted output if harmonics are present. It means VOH is greater than 0. If this VOH is greater than 0 then put this VOH greater than 0 in this equation. We get V0 RMS is greater than V01. It means due to harmonics the output RMS voltage increases. Third is total harmonic distortion. Total harmonic distortion is equal to VOH by V01. As for this case when harmonics are present then we get VOH greater than 0. Putting this we get total harmonic distortion greater than 0. Now dis distortion factor DF. DF is equal to V01 by VRMS. In case of distorted sine wave we know that V01 is less than V0 RMS. That's why we get G is less than 1. So these all are very important expressions. These expressions will be utilized when we study inverters and rectifiers. So please remember all these expressions. That's all about this video. I hope you like this video. Thank you. Jai Shri Ram. If you got the knowledge and concepts from this video, then please like the video and subscribe the channel. You can give your views and ask any questions related to this topic in comment box. Also share this video with your friends because sharing is caring. Don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of my upcoming videos. Thank you.